Hey, back in Rome, I'm Father Reed. Ciao, amici. We are standing here now in the famous little piazza where one can experience Egyptian and Roman past, along with day-to-day -day life here in the middle of the city of Rome, modern Rome. Tourists sometimes call this place the Elephant Piazza because in front of the church is one of the most curious monuments of Rome, the so-called Pulcino della Minerva. This is a statue designed by our good friend, the sculptor Bernini, of an elephant as the supporting base for an obelisk. And it's the shortest of the 11 Egyptian obelisks here in Rome and said to have been brought here as one of two by the Emperor Diocletian for placement in the Temple of Isis, which once stood not too far away. The obelisk is only about 15 feet tall and it's made of red granite. Now, from the 17th century, this former Dominican convent to the left became the base of the Roman Inquisition or the Holy Office. This is the very place where the trial and recantation of Galileo occurred. Very interesting. Little actually remains of the Dominican complex except the cloister and now, today, it holds the library of the Italian Senate. Now, behind me, the Basilica of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva, Sopra meaning over, is built over the Roman temple dedicated to Minerva, and it's the only Gothic-style church in Rome with Gothic-style stained glass windows. Truly beautiful, a serene place. The ceiling is painted blue with gold stars, and it's the home of some very, very beautiful works of sculpture and art. Also, the remains of St. Catherine of Siena are interred here, as well as the Renaissance painter Fra Angelico. There's also a beautiful fresco representing the life of St. Thomas Aquinas. It's a beautiful place. You have to see it. Well, now you have seen it. Here, Piazza della Minerva in the Eternal City. For now, everyone, ciao. Ci vediamo presto.